Okay, blessed Sabbath, everyone. Welcome to BSM TV. I'd like to welcome you all to yet another session where we discuss present truth. Today we've got a brilliant topic. We should excite everyone who is looking for the second coming of Christ. And to discuss with me today is Elder Machine. Welcome to the program, Elder. Blessed Sabbath, Pastor, and blessed Sabbath to everybody. Amen. Today we've got a quick topic and it touches the whole world and whether you are from whatever denomination, whatever walk of life, yeah, I think this comes in as a very much intriguing question that is January the first month of the year. I know a lot of people waited until midnight of the 31st of December to celebrate the New Year. Uh, these days it's all fireworks but we want to know is January the first month of the year and when we're talking of this year is what kind of year is does God have a, a year or does God have a month that he has so this is the question that is the most important question in, uh, especially at this time elder does God have a biblical year? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. God has his own year. And if men need a year, God also needs a year. Mm -hmm. The confusing thing is that there are many people who play around saying Christmas is pagan. Right. And which is true, it is pagan. And mm -hmm. they do not know one thing that January is also pagan. Okay. So it becomes confusing if you say one one feast is pagan and the mm -hmm. other is not. All right. Then that's why we say that is confusion. And what is confusion is Babylon. The name Babylon means confusion. Confusion. When you find people so strict or not observing Christmas but relaxed on observing the, the new year, then you yeah. see how ignorant people may be. It, what's the point? Because it's the same person who created Christmas and is the same person who created January. Right. So where is your take when you can't <laughs> observe Christmas, yes. but you observe New Year of the same author? Then it becomes confusion to, to those who want to worship God in accordance. There is a, a very big hiccup there. That's so why it is important also to find out from the scriptures whether right. this is biblical or not. You, so you, you say, does God have a year? Right. And then if you go to Exodus chapter 12, verse 1, yes. you find he says he's got a year. If you can go to that verse, yes. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So you see, the very first thing he does when he yes. takes off the Israelites out of Egypt is a people he has now taken as a sample. Right. to keep all his laws he first the first thing is to introduce what is called his year right so if you want to find out which year it is that it is not january then you can he is introducing them to take them out of egypt mm -hmm. but he introduces them to his year right and when they are about to come off egypt Mm -hmm. So if you go to the next chapter there on chapter 13, verse 4, you'll right. find which month was that. It says, this day came ye out in the month Abib. You see, the month Abib, we have to find from the scriptures, where do we find the month Abib? If you Abib. go to Patrick's and Prophets, page 537, or maybe 539 there, where it says the first of this, of the feast, which was Passover. 
yes, uh -huh. at seven. Yeah. The first of these festivals, the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, occurred in Abib, the first month of the Jewish year, corresponding to the last of March and the beginning of April. So it clearly tells us where to find the month Abib, where right. the Bible says, Ye came ye out in the month Abib. So the scriptures tell us exactly where to find Abib, the last bit of March and the beginning of April. That's where we find the month Abib. Abib. So the question is, does God have a year? Yes, a year. he does. It starts with Abib. You know, the most uh, intriguing about this scenario that you have just given, it, it seems like God is saying, this is the beginning of months end of the year to you so what were they using in egypt does that mean that the ones that the, the calendar they were using or the year they were using in egypt god found fault in it and he doesn't want to use it he knows his worship has to do with his times right so he could have just taken them with their own calendar which they, are, they were using in egypt in Egypt, yes. But he starts by dismantling that that calendar and introducing his own. So that he um, produces what is called a, a peculiar nation. A peculiar people who only worships him and him alone. Amen. Because the question would be, uh, I've seen people say, uh, what's the fuss about whether it's God's year or the other beast year? It's still it's just time but it looks well like if there is no fast so why would god introduce them to his own calendar yeah yeah yes yeah that's that's the million dollar question because i was i was i was taken aback as well I was thinking why why would god just not leave people like that but now it looks like he's just taking them from the egypt calendar into his own calendar there must be yeah. something that can be tapered around because God cannot just come in if there is nothing surviving. If you look in the whole world with yes. different gods or with different kingdoms, each one has his own calendar. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is to do with the identity of the people who keep that calendar. So God wants people to identify with him, him. as well. Mm -hmm. So those who identify themselves with God are his own. Right. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. So when we say this, uh, the, the, the beginning of, of, of the year is April, then where is December then? <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> it's the 10th month. It becomes the 10th <laughs> month. So if you are following God, yes, you are in the middle of the month on, of the year in the tenth month, and you are looking forward to the uh, new year in Abib, which is April. April. Yeah. Wow. According to the Bible, which you possess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful, because um, we have got lots of, of these holidays since. The same month that says Happy Christmas is, is the same that is saying Happy New Year. What what could be the significance in that? Why put all these holidays happy, 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 happy in, in line? Is, is there a condemnation for it? <laughs> yeah, because there is. Why? Because if uh, God sees it fit on the 12th month, sees it fit for the his people to exchange gifts on his 12th month and they have a holiday called purim right so even them that change that calendar introduce their 12th month where there is gift exchange mm -hmm. yeah so they have their own uh, i don't know why they have that man with a with a, a red uniform who should be given a a gifts i don't know who that man represents but surely cannot re represent christ we have never seen christ wearing a red uniform 
No. And uh, with the, with the white beards and whatever, and gi being given gifts, and the gift exchange, which is on Purim, has nothing to do with giving God. Is giving gifts one to another, but mm -hmm. that man has to also receive gifts. So you cannot just follow without, in, in you know, prying into the reason. What's the reason of all that? If you know nothing about a practice, don't join in, because you right. might be worshiping other gods. Right. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the next question, Elder, will be: What effect does that have? on someone's Christianity because someone will just come out and say, I'm a, I'm manifest. I, I'm, I'm still the same person. I've just done my Christmas. I'm a better Christian. I've done my New Year. I'm a better Christian. Is there anything that can uh, affect someone's uh, religion? Like I said, these calendars have to do with identity. Mm -hmm. So the war between the devil God and the devil is on identity. Mm -hmm. God has his calendar, the devil has his own. Yes. And when you read, if you can read on Revelation chapter 13, verse 8, you find that for, as pertaining those who are going to worship the devil, who in that chapter is called the beast, yes. the whole world will worship except those who are in the book of life. Right, chapter 13. Chapter 13. Verse 8. Verse 8, yeah. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So from the foundation of the world, God has seen those who will stick to the identity of the devil. Mm -hmm. And those who are going to stick to the identity where they identified with God. Mm -hmm. And he um, said at the, at the end, this will make a demarcation of who, those who worship God and those who worship the devil. Because if you see on Revelation 13, it's all about worshiping the beast. Yes. And if you know exactly what the beast did in the dark mm -hmm. ages, change the times. Which times? The calendar. Right. Right. So, if the whole world has to worship the beast, what exactly did the beast do? Change the calendar. Right. So what effect is it? The whole mm -hmm. world will worship the beast whose names are not written in the book of life, in the Lamb's book of life, written from the foundation of the world. God knows them. It's no headache. Our headache right. is to teach people who are observing it without knowing it is wrong. Mm -hmm. We have a zeal to worship God and end up identifying with the devil. Right. That's where our burden is. But mm -hmm. I, I, when you talk about those who are going to worship or keep this calendar, right. the whole world has been seen who will keep and who will not keep the calendar. Wow. Amen, amen, amen. And, and it's scary on Revelation 13. Because yeah. it, 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 it looks like it, it looks like the the whole world the whole world will be part of this worshiping of the beast. Yes, when we are talking about the worship of the beast or mm. the Mark six six six, less people acknowledge it is the calendar. It right. is God's times. What do we find in God's calendar? We find one, the day of worship, which is the Sabbath. We find two, all his festivals in that calendar. Right. What do we find? We find all the months in that calendar. And mm -hmm. when the months begin and when they end. And yes. So if your worship has nothing to do with that calendar, as it was with the, the, the calendar of Moses, Right. Moses was given the calendar first. We, we have seen it in Ezekiel, I mean, Exodus chapter 12. God said, this is my calendar, and this is the beginning of month, which is the month Abib. He right. wanted the whole host there to identify with him because his calendar has got all that. That's why you are seeing them keeping the Passover, keeping the Pentecost, keeping the Feast of Tabernacle, the the... The Passover on the right time, on the right 
event. All that has to do with God's calendar. If that calendar is not in our practice, then we have to question who are we identified with? Yeah. It's very interesting, Elder, because you you have actually spun it out until the time where it the, the earth ends and uh, those who are written in the uh, Lamb's Book of Life are identified with God. But someone will say, uh, I have a quotation from Sister White, which says, the new year is the beginning of a new life. And she wrote it in, on the 1st of January, uh, maybe it was 1856. So she was celebrating uh, the new year. Does do you have anywhere in the by in the spirit of prophecy that can counter that or that can give a, a better explanation to what would that mean? William Miller was keeping Sunday. Right. But do we keep Sunday? <laughs> no. No. Um Luther. Yes. Was keeping Sunday. <laughs> but he was upright. Right. It was be before God gave that burden for that message. Mm -hmm. If he was found today keeping Sunday, not Sabbath, it would be questionable. Mm -hmm. Sister White came in 1844. Where right. unto 2,300 days shall the sanctuary be cleansed? Mm -hmm. And what sanctuary, which had been polluted in the Dark Ages, what had right. happened in the Dark Ages? Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, tells us exactly what has happened. Yes. Read it for me on from Good News uh, Version. You see what happened in, in, in the Dark Ages. Uh, Daniel 7. Verse 25, in Good News Version. Yes, verse yeah. 25. Mm -hmm. It says, he who speak against the supreme God and oppress God's people, he will try to change, he will try to change their religious laws and festivals. So you can see there are two things that were changed. Right. The feasts were changed. Mm -hmm. And also the moral law was changed. Right. So when Sister White started the reformation, and to 2300 in 1844 she started with the moral law right. though okay. she wrote a full chapter on the festival in patterns yeah. and prophets page 590 i mean 537 the whole chapter she wrote about it but her mm -hmm. burden was on the moral law right and because he was so much rejected by the vast host of those who are following here. Mm -hmm. God raised the two guys, A.T. Jones and Wagona, to bring the other thing which was changed in the Dark Ages, which are the festivals. Right. As long as we know the two things, it was the moral law and the religious festivals. These yes. were the ones which were tempered with. Mm -hmm. This is where the 2,300 days, where the sanctuary should be cleansed. Cleansed. Mm -hmm. By cleansing, meaning bringing it back to the original where it was before these laws were changed. Mm -hmm. So Sister White started by changing the, the moral law, right. the Sabbath, into Saturday and took it from Sunday. Right. And the burden of that was on Sister White, the third angel's message. But the right. third angel's message had two sections. Right. It had the moral law. Yes. As well as the festivals, which were changed in the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. So the festivals are the ones called the faith of Jesus. Right. Uh, yes. So yes. God raised these two guys to bring righteousness by faith. That's the faith of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's why they were bringing the moral, so that the moral law, I mean, so that the festivals, together with the moral law, which Sister White had preached, we're all supposed to be brought back to one, the third angel's message. Mm -hmm. Why did God raise these two, two boys? Mm -hmm. It's because people had already thrown away Sister White. Mm -hmm. 
she was already there in in, in Australia. Right. We saw how she was taken off the the, the the reformation. And she continued to cry for a revival and reformation. What did yes. she mean? She meant that the church should be led by a, a prophet. Mm -hmm. Like it was raised on the third angel's message. It was a prophet who was raised by God to preach the mm -hmm. third angel's message, not a pastor. Mm -hmm. But when they took her off, off, God raised these two guys. Right. Who she also confirmed had a message from God, which is righteousness by faith. It was on the ceremonial law, on the festivals, which were also tempered in the time of the Dark Ages. So the question is, why, why did Sister White advocate um, the New Year? Yes. Do you see that that New Year is part of the ceremonial system? Right. It's not a moral law. No, no. So who was given the burden to preach the ceremonial? A.T. Yes. Jones and Wagner. No. Yes. These two guys brought righteousness by faith which is the faith of Jesus, and it was rejected at Minneapolis. It's there in Selected Messages. Book 1, page 233 to 234. Those who can read will see what was there. They even inquired Sister White to say, which laws are the schoolmaster, as it was brought by these two guys? And she answered and said, both the moral and the ceremonial law as a code of, code of conduct. We have not accepted the ceremonial law from 1888 until today. So Sister White promised that this same law, this same message by A.T. Jones and Wagon is going to come back. That's why right. in Malachi chapter 4, verse 4 to yeah. 5, we see God promising Elijah to bring the statutes and judgments. What are statutes? This the very festival. Festivals, yeah. To be brought back before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Right. They are the ones which introduce us mm -hmm. to God's new year. Amen. Amen. That's why there's a cry all over, not to keep mm -hmm. pagan feasts. This is the last message of the hour. Amen. Which God raises a prophet at last to introduce those who want to be sealed to the calendar of heaven. Yes, yes. And okay. those who will remain not conforming to the calendar of heaven will be identified with the beast. Amen. So Amen. that's the mark of the 666, which we are planning to run away from <laughs> while we are already advocating for it. Yeah, we are already thinking in it. Yeah, because right. anything that was uh, emanating from dark ages is the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. It's not only Sunday. It's all the festivals, right. including the beginning of the year. Right, right. Amen, amen. So, so when Sister White wrote uh, first of January, Happy New Year, whatever, we may, you are saying it meant that the light had not progressed. The light had not progressed with her. It was to progress with A.T. Jones and Wagona. And unfortunately, the church rejected. It was rejected. She had no other choice to identify that day. Because the light had, had not identified which one was the first month of the year. It was rejected. Mm -hmm. And the burden of that message was with A.T. Jones and Wagona, who already was rejected. These were rejected. Yes. yes. But when they come with Elijah at last, those mm -hmm. who reject will lose out. Amen. So so you, you mentioned a glimpse of, of, of saying Sister White uh, uh, understood when she was asked, she understood the side of A.T. Wagner and Jones. Did she ever wrote something along the lines of saying these festivals or of the beast are wrong so that Maybe God gave us something that we may we may nourish our people, so that, so that we see when light transformed, she she had some glimpse of it. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 let's in, go to A H, which is Adventist home. 
Yes. Page 480.3. Point 480.3. Point it says, by, by the world, the holy days are spent in frivolity, in frivolity and extravagance, gluttony and display. Is that not true? <laughs> That's very true. You see why people like these holidays? Oh, yes. The two ones, Christmas and yeah. New Year. Yeah, growing this up. This frivolity. Food. Yeah. Eating. Glutton. <laughs> eating a lot. Right. Extravagance. Right. You, you know, I, I, I went... When I was doing my round of work, I went in another home. Mm -hmm. And when I finished whatever I was doing there, I was given a very big packet of chocolate. Yes. Yeah. That was not my time to eat. No. I was still full. Mm -hmm. I have chocolate. It was a very good gift. Right. What? It's good to someone who observes Christmas or New Year. It's good. Mm -hmm. But do I need a chocolate? No. I've, I've never had the chocolate the whole year and do I need it that day? No. No. And you know, when I looked at that house, it was full. Full of lots of goodies. Chocolates, cakes, all the things that were bought by man. That's why I now understand when they come to to after January, they say they are all broke. Right. Because a lot of money was used to buy for people, to buy things. And even if the people don't need it, they should only take it in the name of happiness. Yes. Yeah. You know, I understand when Sister White says frivolity and extravagance. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Did, did, do you need all that? No. No. Not really. But, you know, like when growing up, that was the time when we get new dresses, new shoes, new everything. And mm -hmm. then on top of the meal. So, in, in, in other ways, you, you wouldn't see how bad it is. If, if you had to take a child and tell them, this is bad, you're like, you are like, <laughs> that's, that's where I get all the goodies. After the end of the day, what have you done? Extravagant. You have just expended money. Yes. You know, I grew up with parents who, when I think now, I thank God for giving me such parents. Yeah. Though we were still keeping Christmas when mm -hmm. we were young, that's the day we got new dresses. That's the day we got even nice meals, everything. Right. But we were like those who were in a in a farming area. My mother would would allocate some land for us to till, you know, with the walls tilling. Right. Yes. And that day is Christmas. We are expecting to put on those new dresses. Nice, nice dresses, yes. And she left us. She said, if you want to go and you find the neighbors, they are now with big, you know, radios. They are now, well, you know, it's all that frivolous. And she showed yes. that there's something really great. And we were also attracted. Yes. But my mother will say, there is this land there. Field, yes. Take walls and start tilling there. I'm going to see so-and-so. I'll be back 
lunch time. You will have your lunch, then go and join others and be happy. That was my mother. So we went, we took our horse. We seen people are going all smart and dressed. You know, they have dancing shows and everything. But we have been given horse to till the land. Yeah. You know, we till, we did, and we are looking at the watch. It's almost going to be lunchtime. You know, we, someone is busy cooking in the house and we are tilling the, you know, the land. If you don't finish that, you won't go. That's what she will say. Then okay. she's gone. <laughs> so and we are the lockable gate. She will All lock right. the gate. Nobody goes. And we'll till that land. Hurrying to finish. And then we finish. It's time now to have our food and we go to wash. Go to wash and so that we can, after food, we can change our dresses and go and join others. We have our food normally. We wash, but we are waiting only for permission to start putting on those new dresses. Otherwise, you can't put on a new dress and make it dirty. Yeah. When, it, when my mother would, would tell you that you will put it on when you are about to go, to go and play with others. So we remained waiting for her to come and give us the orders to dress up now and go. Do you know what time she came? Right. What time? <laughs> <laughs> when the sun is almost setting there. And we are seeing the sun is there, red. And then we see her by the gate, opening the gate. With yes. a large head like this, because it was sunny. Yes. And she's coming. Yes. Yeah? yeah? What time are we going to go and play with others? No, Most of not... us were girls, you know, we had most girls. We were nine in our family. Right. Seven girls and two two small boys. Then look, before we go to bed at night, who is on the desk preaching to us, to the seven girls? My father. Right. Talking about how bad it is to just mingle. And you see, all the stories you will bring up as if we have done it. You see, when you have got girls, <laughs> you will bring all these stories to say, yeah, you've got to be spoiled. Have these boys who are just taking any girl and doing what they want. It doesn't yes. happen in this house. And we are listening. So is it why we were stopped going and mingling with people? Yes. But now yes. when I got this message about this frivolous, extravagance, unnecessary right. gluttony. <laughs> I thanked yes. the Lord and I said <laughs> it was a blessing in disguise. Um, we never we we never were allowed any form of extravagance, yes. any form of frivolous that behavior what we were not allowed. Yes. Every night it was a good lecture. When we went to sleep, we were just saying, hey, it's hard to do anything wrong in this house. If you do anything wrong, you are, you know, terrible. We had strict parents. And now I thank them. I thank them a lot for what they did. Because to be honest, Christmas and these New Year's, they, they are exciting, frivolous. That's the only thing. Yeah. And I heard someone saying, if, if indeed Christ was born uh, on the 25th of December, then we're making a mockery of it. Because that's the yeah. day when people are drunk, more accidents, fighting, all the bad things that you can think of happen on that day. How then, if, if, if does that happen on the Sabbath? I, I beg to differ. So it, 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 Sure. There are so many cases. There are so many cases on that day. Yes. Yeah, and I'm so glad. When I grew up, even before I saw how bad Christmas was, we were not right. part of it. Yes. Because um, of my parents, we were not part of it. We were mm -hmm. told to fear God in everything we do. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that was to me. That was a lottery. I won. 
Yes. It yes. made me who I am. Right. Yeah. It made me who I am. I came from those strong hands. What about and there are some, some there are some people parents who are so loose with yes. children. They don't even know where you know where the child has gone to sleep, comes next day, you don't even know. They're just loose with their children. Yeah, that was but, my question. Uh, what about those boys and girls who were playing next door? Where are they now? <laughs> the those who were playing next door, most of them at my age now, I'm I'm a, I'm sixty. Mm -hmm. Some of them never went to sixty. Yes. Yeah. Most of them, it's just a few left. They never went to my age. It's unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you think the way of God is harsh, but it is the no. better way. In God earth. is love, yeah, and sometimes we don't understand His love. We think yes. He's restrictive when He is love. It's more, yes. Amen. I mean, I see some people say, "Oh, my my daughter is going for a trip." Blah blah blah. blah. Then I ask, at night, who looks after that trip? Yes. You know, my mother used to say, "When you see a train there, it's mm -hmm. got a, a what do you call that? The that head. head. Yeah, head. it's the engine head. There is no train without that one." Yes. Yeah, that's what she taught me. And that's what I also taught my children, especially the girls. Yes. I taught them there is nowhere who, no one who goes where I don't understand. Right. You know, I had my my other daughter. I won't mention when she was at training at university. She used yes. to bring her friends, girls, two girls. They come for holiday or weekend off in my house. That was fine with me. If their parents have allowed, it was fine. Then it came at a time when she said, oh, can I also go and sleep at their home like they do at mine? <laughs> yes. I said, never, ever, such a thing should never, ever happen under this roof. No. I don't even know the parents. I know the girls who come here. Yes. And I'm not going to make such a bad mistake. I don't do that. No, no. Yeah. Whether your friends do it, my children don't do it. They don't <laughs> sleep where I don't see. Amen. 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 You can say I'm very strict terms and whatever. We can call me any name. But that's that's me. Yeah, it that's says me. you I think as well. It saves me heartache, any heart heart attacks. It yeah. saves me all that. The moment I release my child, is on her wedding to go and join her husband. Amen, amen. Plus, to God is that's the most important thing. Can you can you channel your children or your household to worship yeah. God? Mm -hmm. But some some parents it's hard for them to to channel their children. To worship God. They yeah. worship children. They they, they, they are so liberal mm -hmm. with their children. Liberal and allow them to go this and that. That's why we have all these problems happening. Because when the children are still under, and they say, oh, now I have given keys. He's above 21. What? I give you keys according to the Bible. Right. The Bible says men shall leave his parents and join his wife. Right. Amen. And the same for the woman. Leave his parent, her parents and join the husband. It's yes. God who said that. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's very, very true. So maybe let me finish where we were reading here, where he says, by the world, the holidays are spent, by the world, the holidays are spent in frivolity and extravagancy, gluttony and display. Thousands of dollars Will be worse, will be worse than thrown away upon the coming Christmas and New Year's in needless indulgences. Mm -hmm. 
after that spirit is over <laughs> for Christmas and New Year, right. then you come back to reality. <laughs> yeah. And then that's why they say January disease. <laughs> yes. What disease is January? Who made it disease? Is it January? No. What were you doing? Overspending. Mm -hmm. Extravagance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, 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 when you say the thousands of dollars, it looks like now that money is a curse instead of a blessing. Yeah, they bring they bring quotations where Sister White was saying this new year, this whatever. Yeah, of course, she's not the one who preached about the calendar. The right. calendar comes from the festivals. Yeah. But she, they ignore where she talks about the bad things that happened <laughs> at Christmas and New Year. Right. Um, there was another powerful preacher. Right. Who I followed even on Facebook. You know? Right. As a preacher, you should also value other preachers. Mm -hmm. And that preacher now, you know, I was watching that preacher. Almost every time when that preacher is a great talent. But when that preacher said, no, 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 no. I want my Christmas box. <laughs> even if it's pagan, but I want my box. That was my end. Oh. I won't even trust whatever that preacher said. Yes, yeah. Because the Bible says to the law and to Thank the you. testimony, if they don't say according to the word, they have no light. Right. Yeah, they have no light. I was now busy pre teaching people, uh, even that day is not, is not a Christian day, but you can spend it doing this and that and that. Do you think I need to be told what to do on my day off? No, no. If it is a day from work and someone to have to explain what how I should spend it. No. Why? Why don't you explain other day offs and you want that day off? Why? Yeah. So that's playing an uncertain sound. Right, right. Yeah. So you could see that in Daniel chapter 25, 7, verse 25, we are clearly told that these are the times which were changed by the mm -hmm. beast. And it calls for wisdom to know what the beast changed. Right, so so you're saying the beast changed the religious festivals of God. Yeah. And, and did, for, why did you not just take it out and just leave it blank? No, he had to substitute. It, for Christmas, he yes. took, took Purim. Which is right. in, in March, that's the 12th month, where there's yeah. Purim, which is a, a feast of gift exchange. Right. He had to replace. Each one is a, is a replacement. The yeah, Sabbath is a replacement of Sunday. Right. Passover, Easter. Mm -hmm. Everything, new moon. We had yes. Lent or with right. Sun. All mm -hmm. those are days he did not leave it blank because people blank. were going to look for it. Right. They just substituted. Wow. Yeah. So the new moon, <laughs> yes. the beginning of month, which is in uh, January, mm -hmm. in, originally it was in April. Mm -hmm. But when it was taken off from April, those who knew it was April, that's when, when they started observing it, they were called, oh, it's a fool's day. Fool's day, yes. <laughs> it's a fool's day, meaning we have already finished it on Jan in January. So if we know the controversy between God and the devil, we have no problem. Amen. Amen. And no matter how many people can advocate for it, we know exactly God has warned us in Revelation chapter 13, verse 8, and say the whole world will wander after the beast. He actually says, they will say, who can? Who can make war with the beast? Yes. You can see how the expressions, me, even if it's pagan, I'll still keep it. That's another way to say, who can make war with the beast? War with the beast. Yeah. Yes, it's verse 7. No, yeah. Verse 4, verse 4, it says, 
uh, and they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is mm -hmm. able to make war with him? Yeah. Amen. They shun Christmas, mm -hmm. but they keep New Year. Who is like unto the beast? Who can make mm -hmm. war with this? Who can change the calendar? Who can, you know, it has ever been like that. No, Adam and Eve never kept that calendar. No, even Christ, Christ himself never kept it. Mm -hmm. Why drag his name to it? Yes. When he never kept that calendar. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, if they are worshipping the beast elder, he says, uh, saying, they worshipped the beast, the dragon, sorry. He says they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. So the beast is changing times. Yeah. Isn't it? But, it but, looks like but who is giving power? Yes, that's what I wanted to answer. It's the dragon. The dragon. So who, who is, is the, the dragon? dragon? In Revelation 12, verse 9, we'll, we'll know who is the dragon. 12, verse 9, it says, and the great, And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, which is, which is called the devil, and Satan. Right. So, if you tell someone that you are worshipping the devil, would that person Ooh. understand? Ooh. Yeah, this is, this is serious. Now, what we know is, you will worship, because that verse mm -hmm. is talking about people worshipping the dragon. Mm -hmm. Say so they worship the dragon. You will mm -hmm. worship without knowing so that's why we have to educate each other to know right. what it is to worship the dragon right before it's too late and he's it's, it's saying uh, the dragon which deceived the whole world so it yeah. looks like it's not something that you can easily see it's something that is in a deceivable mask that you have if, to be if if it is introduced to the whole world you will right. not expect the whole world to change to the to God's calendar. It no. will be only the saints will do it individually. Sometimes you go even to those who worship God. They, they don't even, even they don't even advocate the calendar of God in their syllabuses. So mm -hmm. there is a need for you to do it individually. Amen. Amen. It, it, sister was saying, Are you hoping the whole church to be converted okay. on that issue? That time won't come. Mm -hmm. So the, the person has to make sure you stand upright like Daniel. Right. There right. to be a Daniel and stand alone. If you think now the world will say, okay, we have seen this is wrong. Let's go back to God's calendar. That time won't come. That time will never come. That and time the, the come. church, now this year, where there is a, a marking right now, there is a seal on the forehead. Mm -hmm blessed it is this calendar you think right. the whole church will come and the whole leaders will come and team up and say this is what god wants hey, let's go to this calendar that time won't come no you have to do it individually amen this amen. is the time to stand by it thus say the lord <laughs> and there's some who are trying to make sure they worship god at the same time as worshiping the dragon I saw someone who a church full of people on a new year mm -hmm. saying we are we are having Lord's Supper. It's night for that matter on a new year. When several times they don't make Lord's Supper at night. Mm -hmm. But on a new year they conducted it at night with candlelight. Then I said I smell a rat there. <laughs> they are keeping new year. They are keeping new year. Mm -hmm. There is that worshipping the dragon and God at the same time. Some will right. say this is a, a prayer, a youth prayer meeting mm. on a new year. And someone, I had to talk to another pastor who said, oh, let's, let's meet on a, on a, a, new Year's, a, a New Year's Day to celebrate the end of the year. Then I said, but the year ends in March. In March. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even, even in March, we still have another one. You see how confused it? How Babylonish. It's confused. 
How can you have a month, a year ending on that Gregorian calendar, and then a year ending on God's calendar? What are you talking about? Worshipping what? Or what? Okay. You have to show where you are. You have to be intelligent. Mm -hmm. When you are talking, God, God is looking for people who are intelligent. Okay. Not yeah. biased. Plus, when the whole thing, I've never seen the whole thing that pertains to, to God, including the whole world. Those who worship any religion, you just find them saying. Once same. you see something being done by everybody, everyone, smell it. Because <laughs> even in Babylon, we see <laughs> only <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. Or even the world. Everyone worshipped the statue. Everyone was worshipping it. But yeah. some would argue, say, Israel, not all of them. I, I, I think I read somewhere, it says, not all of them worshipped that big image. Some only compromised it. There's <laughs> those who are saying, let's, let's go and have a prayer meeting for, for the year ending. And yet at the same time says, oh yeah, I know God's year uh, uh, ends in March in uh, Abib. So we also have another one. We are trying to please. So God, so God would kind of count them with the ones that are worshipping. God yes. does not want a divided interest. Yes, yes. God blesses a single interest. Amen. If Amen. it's divided here, you are there, there you are there, you are trying to... You, God won't respect such an interest. Mm -hmm. You will lose the seal. Amen, amen, amen. So another question that we have is uh, uh, that of Jeremiah chapter 10. <laughs> Jeremiah yeah. chapter 10. It, it looks like uh, they say, most people say, say that's way the paganism of Christmas comes from, that God is condemning it. But some preachers say, no, 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 it doesn't talk. That's not Christmas. It's something that happened all time. How do we reference that in connection to our lesson, which talks about is January the New Year? Maybe I can read Je Je Jeremiah chapter 10, uh, verse, from verse 1. Yes. It says, Hear ye the word of the which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are in vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, and the work of the hands of a workman with an axe. Then deck it with silver and gold, and then fasten it with nails and hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is in it to do in them to do good. Right. Now, as God said, it is a hidden thing. Yes. End of story. Right. <laughs> Whether it was long ago or mm -hmm. now, if the mouth of the Lord says it's a hidden custom. Right. Now, let's go to Great Controversy, page 604, yes. third paragraph. 604, third paragraph. Yes. He says, oh yes. Where well, he says, with the issue. With the issue that's clearly brought before him, whoever shall trample upon God's law to obey a human enactment receives the mark of the beast. He accepts the sign of allegiance to the power which he chooses to obey instead of God. Right. Right. Who brought about that tree? <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Who brought about the tree? It looks like it's the dragon. Is it a human enactment? Yes. 
it says, whoever shall trample upon God's law to obey a human enactment right. receives the mark of the beast. Right. He accepts the sign of allegiance to the power which he chooses to obey instead of God. Right. Now, that's where we have a problem, especially with Laodicea. Yes. So many human enactments there. Right. Marching. Is it yes. a human enactment? Right, yeah. You obey that and it's not in the Bible. Surely, mm -hmm. we should have found it in the Bible. Yeah, just even one verse. Even one. Not be, if, yeah. Just one sentence talking yeah, about these marchings. Yeah. It's a human enactment. Right. Whoever shall obey a human enactment, mm -hmm. which is not in the Bible, chooses a God to worship better than God. Yeah. Now, if we can't, you know, the people who, who make my head really spin mm -hmm. are those who, who say, who, who who believe with you that this is pagan, but still keep it? Yeah, because elder, maybe uh, maybe you grew up where I grew up. We used to have this Christmas tree in the church, and, mm. and that whole week probably people would be, ah, it's, it's, we are not celebrating Christmas, but we cannot let that day pass. That was the, the message. But then you, we put the Christmas tree in the church, not in our houses. Now it's in the church. And you think, mm. okay, now that I know, I, I, I always think, why, 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 would, why would we do that? What's the purpose? Mm. Even a small child is asking, what's the purpose? Yes. Because Jeremiah chapter 10 said they deck it in silver. Right. And they... Right. they they have all those time to do that. Mm -hmm. And he says, but they don't talk. No. And it's not a living tree. Mm -mm. This is a human enactment. Yes. And they are busy with that instead of being busy with God's law. Right. The new moon is just behind the corner. Yeah. No one cares. It's there in the Bible. Isaiah chapter 66 still says it's there in the new heaven and new earth. Mm -hmm. Who cares? No. They are busy with the things that are not in the Bible. It's not those people who say there is no God who God is after. No, no, no. It's these very ones who profess to say we are of God and it is God who is ours. Mm -hmm. Who instead they do the worst thing than someone who does not know God? Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. they bring in all these things that are being done elsewhere with those who, who are not worshiping God. You uh, find so a religious person is there mm -hmm. doing the same thing, right? Worshiping God via paganism. And you find the same event is honored by heathens. Mm -hmm. The same event is honored that, that by those who say there is no God, right. but still honor that event. Right. It's, it's honored more by pagans who know they have won to convert the Christians into their right. thing. Where, who is now with God at that time? That's the scariest. That's why what makes it more scary, because now, from what we have read, it says this issue clearly now before us: whoever shall trample upon God's law to obey a human enactment receives the mark of the beast. So you see, now in the church, you'll be thinking our pastors, our whatever. But if they are allowing things like that, God is saying they are making us receive the mark of the beast. Don't even waste time looking at any individual. Mm 
Mm. You get it wrong. Right. True. Look at it. That said the Lord. Oh. Amen. If you want the pearly gates to be for you, the that say the Lord is plenty. <laughs> and if the Bible says it's a hidden thing, whether Sister White will bring in quotation, we know she was not even given the burden of the calendar. The burden yes. of the calendar was with 80 Jones and Wagon, right. who they rejected. <laughs> but we still find Sister White condemning it. Yes. So you see, they take where she was still moving with the light. Yes. And was even advocating people to eat swine. Right. And later on, she said swine is not supposed to be eaten. Right. They don't go where she said it's never, you know, stop eating swine. They right. go where she says eat. <laughs> That's why I asked you, I said, was William Miller keeping Sabbath? No. But he was raised by God. Yes. yes. Sister White also was now keeping Sabbath. Mm -hmm. But she was talking about New Year. Right. Now, who is the one supposed to give that message of the calendar in our time? Right. In early writing, we were told, early writing 277, that there is a fourth angel coming to join with the third, which yes. is the only one that came to introduce what is paganism or right. who is Babylon. Mm -hmm. That is the only angel which came with the calendar. Let's hear early writing, page 277. 277. Mm -hmm. It says, I saw angels hurrying to and fro in heaven, descending to the earth and again ascending to heaven, preparing for the fulfillment of some important event. So the important event was the loud cry, right. which these angels were preparing for. Let's hear more. <laughs> yes. Then I saw another mighty angel commissioned to descend to the earth, to unite his voice with the third angel and give power and force to his message. Right. Great so there power. is a fourth one which has come to unite with the third. Right. And this one came to give power and glory to the third. Right. So let's hear what that angel did after giving power to the third angel. Where is the third? It's in Laodicea. Yes. That's where the message went to say the calendar is this. That one is not God's calendar. That is the fourth angel coming to give power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he says, great power and glory were imparted to the angel. And as he descended, the earth was lightened with his glory. The light which attended the, this angel penetrated everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as he cried mightily with a strong voice, Babylon, the great, is fallen. Is fallen, is become the habitation of devils, and a ward of every foul spirit, and a cage of every clean, uh, every unclean and hateful bed. You see, that fourth angel is repeating what Revelation 18 said. Yes. That Babylon now is a cage of yes. all, all foul spirit. That is the fourth to come and join the third. Yes. That angel is not Sister White's angel. No, 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 no. Sister White preached the third. But mm -hmm. there is a fourth there which comes with a messenger to say now the church is Babylon, is fallen. All right. Amen. Amen. Because Babylon, now this year has refused God's calendar. That's why you see these Christmas trees chipping in like that. These are the errors that are creeping since 1844. Yes, I think that's the next way he says, the message of the fall of Babylon as given by the second angel is repeated. Mm -hmm. so some say Revelation 18 is that angel which was preached by William Miller. No. The no. Revelation 18 is a repetition of what happened in 1844 when William Miller preached. It's a yes. repetition. But mm -hmm. it's coming now to Laodicea. Yes. It's this calendar. There's two days. Amen. Giving Amen. the people in Laodicea the mark of the beast. Right. It says, with the additional mention 
of the corruptions which have been entering the church since 1844. You see the corruptions. All the things that you see being practiced, which are noted, that say the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's the addition mm. of what Babylon is. Those ones are being additionally mentioned to the calendar, which is not being kept. Because if we truly say we are Israel, uh, spiritual Israel, yes, then the Israel by flesh had a calendar. Right. What about right. spiritual Israel? They There's no calendar. No. How would it is thou? But the, the, the statement you know, that I, I find a, a bit uh, uh, extravagant, it says the corruptions which have been entering, but the, the word corruption mm -hmm. means, it looks like it means when someone is being labeled corrupt, it means someone who knows the right way, but deliberately, yeah. mm -hmm. deliberately goes the other way. How do they know the Sabbath? Yes. And don't, the, how do they know the Feast of Tabernacle? And don't know the, the, the date? Hmm. So how the, do they know the Lord's Supper and they don't know the date and the time? Yes. How? So these people are deliberately doing this when exactly. they know the, the exactly. right way of worshiping God, but deliberately yeah. they put the Christmas tree <laughs> knowing it's a pagan. They yeah. just put it. The prophets and say we don't keep Christmas and they put the tree. Yes. We don't keep pack and feast. They keep yes. the, the, the the New Year. Yes. The New Year is there for for death and whatever. But mm -hmm. if you choose to make a a celebration for it, mm -hmm. you are marking it as a beginning of the year. Right, right. So someone is saying, so how do you write your dates? And I write the date which is there in that Gregorian calendar, but I don't celebrate it. No, you don't. I don't no. celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. they start the day. And yet right. they clearly know that the day starts at sunset. That's it. But they are yeah. awake on the 31st at night. And make all these... Mm, trumpets and balloons, but they know come Sabbath, sunset, they will be keeping the beginning of the day. So so, so I think that's where the corruption, where God is saying they are so corrupt. Because yeah. if they are consistent, the mm -hmm. 35th sunset, they should be saying, saying uh, Happy New Year at sunset. But the fact that they, they wait until midnight, it means they are so corrupt, they are following uh, the dragon when they know the day starts at sunset yeah they know that's deliberately making yourself a, a, a down right you make yourself wow. down when you know exactly what you are doing they make meetings on that day uh, mm -hmm. celebrations a prayer prayer warrior whatever whatever they do on that day they think god is going to bless them on mm -hmm. a pagan feast no so maybe let, f f f w the way forward now it looks like this angel which is coming to give the calendar of god it looks like god is a, a, a much of a preparation because it's saying angels are hurrying to and from throughout to prepare for this imp important event which is to give the calendar of god now, because uh, uh, Sister White says she saw angels hurrying to and fro. In yes. 1888, the angels came hurrying right. to and fro, bringing yes. this calendar, right. which was rejected. Then says, I saw an exceedingly bright light. Right. Mm -hmm. Which one is Elijah now? Right. An exceeding bright light, which mm -hmm. came, and when that light came, joined the third and gave power and glory to the third, and the whole world was lightened. Don't you see the whole world saying, it's pagan, it's pagan, Christmas is pagan. Don't you see that? Yes, yes. What caused all that? The bright light. The bright light. But the corruption yeah, uh, is that when you knew that that one is, is pagan, but yes. the same decoration goes for the new year. Right, that's true. 
How then, when the same fist came from the author, the dragon, mm -hmm. why do you pick and choose this one from the dragon, that one not, this one, no, it's not for the dragon. You can see there's purely confusion. And when you say these fists are pagan, mm -hmm. you should show it by keeping God's fist. Fist, amen. Just as it is, if you say Sunday is pagan, Show it by keeping Sabbath. Sabbath. Amen. But you cannot just mention and not keep the proper one. No. Hey, it's back and it's back and it's back and you end, you end up without that gift exchange. What yeah. about Purim then? Which yes. is in the Bible and the black and white. All the things which God gave us, including the Sabbath, is in black and white in the Bible. Right. And all the festivals in black and white in the Bible, even the Lord's Supper in black and white in the Bible. Right. Nobody bothers. But mm -hmm. something which is not in black and white in the Bible is Christmas. It's not anywhere in the Bible. January is not anywhere in the Bible. Right. You are found advocating it with all your strength. Yes. And then you go, you think God will be happy with that. No. Someone will say, okay, January is not in the Bible. Where are the, God's, God's uh, calendar in the Bible? I can give you all. Oh, yes. That, that would be beneficial. <laughs> that would be beneficial. I have already given the one for Abib. Yes. So we have the first month of God is called Abib. Right. And we saw it in Exodus chapter 2, verse 2. And in Exodus chapter 13, verse 4, Abib is also called Nisan. Yes. So if you read those verses, you find they call, they call Abib Nisan as the first month of the year. Esther chapter 3, verse 7, you can find Abib is there. Uh, 3, verse 7. Yes. It says, in the first month, that is the month Nisan. Yeah. In the 12th year of King Azarus. Yes. So you see, the first month is clearly there in the Bible. It's Nisan. Nisan or. But then we eventually find we have January. Right. Can't we see, smell it? <laughs> yes. That's the, the first thing that surprised me, the first thing that surprised me is God is actually 12 months. Yeah. That can be named. And can be found in the Bible. So where, where do we did we get January? Where, where did he come and from? And God's month starts start with a new moon. Yes. Those other months are only located by mythology. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so who was the author of all that mythology? Eh? So we have God's month. I've given you a number of verses yes. for the first month. Let's see, the second month is Aya. I Y A R. That's Aya or Zif. Mm -hmm. The other name is Zif. Z I F. Mm -hmm. So we can go to First Kings, chapter six, verse one. All right. It says, "And it came to pass in the four hundred and eighth year." 80th year, after the children of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the in the month Zif, which is the second month uh, that he began to he began to build the house of the Lord. So the Bible originally has the second month. Yes, which is Zif Amen. or Aya. We have not yes. seen February there. No. There's no February. No. Can't you smell a red? Those who are holding that Bible with that verse, can't you read that? Wow. The third yes. month mm -hmm. is seven. So when I say the first month is a baby in April, All right. Where April is the fourth month of mythology. Right, right. So you see how, why the devil changed everything. He wants mm -hmm. you and me to be lost. Right. 
So when God is talking about time, we don't even know what he's talking about. No, no. There is a very important reason of salvation for him yes. to change. And there's an important reason why God say even the new moon and the Sabbath will still continue to be kept in the new mm -hmm. heaven. And it's the time he's talking about. But if he, he, he makes sure, you know, he changes even the beginning of the year. And even the, the time where he says that is the first day of the month, it's no way in accordance with the moon. Mm -mm. No. He only wants you to be lost. Yes. That's it. So let's let's go to Siva in Esther chapter 8, verse 9. Uh, verse 9, he says, mm. Then when the king's cry called at the time of time in the third month, that is the month Siva. Amen. Is there in the Bible? Yes. Now there you'll be talking of the June. <laughs> We are in juniors in the third month. Yeah. So if someone is following God's calendar and you find people on in December, the tenth month. Right. In the middle of the night, you just say what? Then you go to Isaiah chapter five. Oh, chapter five, <laughs> sorry, verse thirteen. It's in Isaiah five, verse thirteen. Verse thirteen, yes. Mm-hmm. It says, therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. and, they, and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Right. This is the thirst God is talking about. Yes. This is the knowledge which mm -hmm. even Paul said. They have, I see a lot of people have in Romans. A lot of people have zeal, but the zeal without knowledge. Okay. They are preaching, they are doing everything without the knowledge of how God is worshipped with this calendar. Mm -hmm. This is what he gave those who worshipped him from the word go. He gave yes. them the calendar. Now, how can you go ahead and worship God without his times? Yes. Yet he is warning if any man worship the best, meaning yes. there is ample time to research and see what God is talking about. Amen. Amen. But people don't mind researching. They only want to follow each other. Right. Right. And you follow human enactments. Mm -hmm. So here, that's why it says, therefore my people are gone into captivity. You see what is capturing the people? The churches. Yes. They right. capture them. They don't give them the message. They don't give them the, the information, the truth. And the people remain captured. Mm -hmm. And when the people are captured, that's why Romans, I mean, Revelation, we call it a cage. cage. They are in the cage and the knowledge is not given to them. So he says, therefore, my people are, are gone into a captivity because they have no knowledge. And yes. their honorable men are finished. And their multitude dried up with the thirst. You can see even the, the, their honorable men, their leaders, yes. they don't yes. even know the truth. Mm. Then he says in verse 14, what does he say in verse 14? Therefore, here we have enlarged yourself, and right? open their mouth without measure. So it means many are going to go into that mouth, yes. the mouth of hell. Mm -hmm. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp. Did you see people have that pomp of, we are pomp. so many here, we are so many there, we are so many there. They like these numbers. But verse 14 clearly told, tells us, read, read verse 14. Therefore, he will enlarge herself and open him out without measure. Mm -hmm. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. Yes? That's yeah. it. That's what God does. He sees wow. the pomp. The pomp is there. Mm -hmm. He sees all the, the 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 rejoicing of saying we are we are like we are like that. I love the you know I'm proud to be this. I'm proud. You know he sees all that. Mm -hmm. But he says they all go into the enlarged mouth mm -hmm. of hell. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that, if we go, yeah, that's scary because if, if, if we are being captured, 
Yeah. It means, it means the person who comes in now trying to uncapture the people is received as the devil. Yeah. Which is way more serious than being captured. Because if they would allow the people who are captured to receive the message, maybe they would have received the light. But there seems to be that manipulation of saying anything that comes outside of our church, don't take it. Whether it is in the book, they don't care. Yeah, as long as it's coming outside. That's why God is saying they are captured. Mm. So let's go to the next month. Oh, which yes. is number four, Tammuz, the fourth month. Yes. Jeremiah 39, verse 2. Jeremiah 39, verse 2. Mm -hmm. It says, And in the seventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the seat was broken. So we have an, a fourth month there. <laughs> Though it hasn't been mentioned, but there is a fourth month of the Lord. Right. And if you tell tell God that the fourth month is April, mm -hmm. why does he give all this? When he gave the festival, mm -hmm. he tells exactly which month the festival, the festival is expected. Yes. Which, which season? Is expected. No, you can see some people will say we have had our our camp meeting in April. Right. It becomes confusion because the camp meeting is expected on the seventh month. Right. But we have done the camp meeting on the first month of Abib. <laughs> so it's so confusing. That's why it's Babylon. Right. Right. So why he has to give that knowledge of his calendar so that we are bright and intelligent. And that's why I said the world will say, what manner of people are these who are so nigh to God? Yes. Who are so holy? Who are so blessed? It's because we walk in his times. Amen. Amen. When he says those which walk with the Lamb with us wherever he goeth, he means his calendar. Amen. 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 Let's go to the month of Av, which is the fifth month. Numbers chapter 33, verse 38. Uh, numbers 33. Verse 38. Right. It says, verse 38. Yeah. It says, uh, And Aaron the priest went up into the mount at the commandment of the Lord and died there in the 40th. 40th year after the children of Israel will come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. Do you see God is a fifth month? Yes. If the first month is April, where do you find the fifth month? And then we know it's half because it, all these names are in the Jewish calendar. Yes, yes. Now, um, let's go to Elul, um, the sixth month, which is Elul. Yes. Which is in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15. Verse 15. Mm. It says, So the war was finished in the 20 and 50th day of the month Elul in 52 days. So this one is the sixth month. It's not June. It's Elul. Elul, yes. Yeah. It's in the Bible which we hold. Right. And funny enough, June is not in the Bible. <laughs> no. Um, let's go to the seventh month, which is Tishri or Ethanim. Ethanim, which is in First Kings chapter 8, verse 7. That's the month of Tishri, where right. we find the camp meeting. Is verse verse seven? A uh, First Kings eight verse two. Verse two, and all the men of Israel assembled themselves unto King Solomon at the feast of at the feast in the month Ethanim, which is the seventh month. 
So it's even to Solomon they went on the Feast of Tabernacle. Yes, which is the seventh In the month, month of Ethan, which is the yes. seventh month. So uh -huh. this gives us intelligence so that we don't find ourselves putting these game meetings in August. <laughs> right. You see, even Solomon had a month in the seventh, had a feast in the seventh yes. month. This will yeah. all should open our brain to say, mm -hmm. God is looking for people who are intelligent. We mm -hmm. worship according to the Bible and the Bible alone. Amen. 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 Let's go to the eighth month. Sheth van, or sometimes they call it bull, which is B U L. Right. It is in First Kings chapter 6, verse 38. Verse 38. Mm -hmm. And in the eleventh year, in the month Bo, which is mm -hmm. the eighth month, was the house finished and all passed thereof. So the eighth month is not August. No. The eighth month is Bo. Bo. Or Sheshvan. Sheshvan, yes. Let's go to the ninth month, which is called Kislev. Right. It's in Zachariah chapter 7, verse 9, verse 1. 7, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it says, And it came to pass in the fourth, and, uh, fourth year of King Darius that the word of the Lord came to, unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Kislev. Kislev, the ninth month, is in the Bible. September is not there. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's go to the 10th month, Tevet. Esther chapter 2, verse 16. Esther chapter 2, verse 16. You want to go to the 10th month, Tevet, which we are in right now. All right. Esther chapter 2, verse 16. It says, So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his royal house in the 10th month, which is the month Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. The 10th month is not October, it's Tebeth in the Bible. In the Amen. Bible. Amen. Amen. So it's in December. December is called Tebeth. Yes. And it's the 10th month. Amen. Let's go to the month, the 11th month, which is Shevat. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Upon the 4th and 20th day of the 11th month, which is the month Sabbath. It's not November, it's Shevat. Mm -hmm. Zechariah okay. chapter 1, verse 7. Let's go to the last month which is called Ada, which is the 12th month. Mm -hmm. It's in Esther chapter 3, verse 7. Esther chapter 3, verse 7. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. It says, In the first month, that is the month Nisan, in the 12th year of King Ahasuerus, they cast poo, that is the lot before Haman from day to day, from the month to month, to the twelfth month, that is the month Ada. The twelfth month is called Ada and it's got the Purim gift exchange. Oh yes. It's in March. Right. So, when we are reading these verses, why is there emphasis on the, the names of the months that are not in the Bible, more than the emphasis on the months that are reflected by the Bible. Right. It's because there is a contest between those who worship God and those who worship the devil, and God will label them with a number 666. Six, six. Those Amen. who don't worship him. Mm -hmm. That's the mark of the beast. Amen. I mean, God this, needs people who are intelligent, right. who worship according to the names that he has given. That's mm -hmm. why he, the very first thing, he took the Israelites out of Egypt, he put mm -hmm. them into his own calendar. calendar. And when he says in, 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 in 
Ezekiel chapter 46, okay. when he was telling people to worship on a new moon right. and, and the, the, the Sabbath. Chapter 46, verse 1. 46, verse 1. Mm -hmm. He says, Thus said the Lord God, the, the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut six working days, but on the Sabbath it shall be opened, and on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. Now, on verse 3, what does he say? Verse 3. Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before the Lord in the Sabbaths and in the new moons. If it was today where people don't know when the new moon is, yes. when would they go to worship God? Yes. Anyhow. Because in Isaiah chapter 66, Mm -hmm. Go to Isaiah 66, verse 22. 66. Verse 22. Verse 22, it says, But for as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, Shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord. Now, you understand why God is giving us now the, the calendar in the in the time of the of Elijah. Yes. Because that's what we will be doing still in heaven. Right. Won't it be a confusion? Right. Do you think you are going to start being taught in heaven to worship on a new moon? No. It means these times had been changed in the dark ages. And mm -hmm. now once God wants a full reformation to mm -hmm. go back to what it was. Right. Because when we are in new heaven and new earth, this will still continue. The Sabbath will still continue. The new moon. Why are these two days very important? Yes. You will see the next verse there in Isaiah 66. What we will be doing on Sabbath and new moon? Listen to that one. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. Now, if those who are keeping the new moon mm -hmm. and the Sabbath will go on those days to worship God, and God says, go to see those who transgressed against me. these days, mm -hmm. is God not talking about his current? Is. What is the new moon? It's the first day in heaven. Right. In his calendar. Right. What is the Sabbath? It's the seventh day in his calendar. Right. So once you are not with, in accordance with the calendar, mm -hmm. you will offend on the Sabbath and you yes. also offend on the new moon. There is no way you can claim to be keeping the Sabbath without the new moon. Right. Never. It won't happen even in heaven. In the new earth and new, it won't happen. God is now busy with Elijah, teaching Amen. people to fit them to dwell. There is a quotation from Sister White which says, These days, the new moon and the Sabbath yes. will fit the people. Have, have you seen it somewhere? Where it says, It will, will fit, fit the dwellers yes. of the people in the new heaven and new earth. Yes. This is the job God has given to Elijah to make sure the dwellers who are going to dwell in the pearly gates mm -hmm. are in accordance with what is happening there. Amen. Have you found it first? It's on... Uh... Yes, I found it. It's on... Letter 18. Or you can find it on CHS 2.14, which says, God teaches us that we should assemble in his house to cultivate the attributes of perfect love. This will fit the dwellers of the earth for the mansions he has gone to prepare for them that love him. Then they will assemble in the sanctuary from Sabbath to Sabbath mm -hmm. and from one moon to another to unite in loftiest strains of songs 
in thanksgiving and praise to him that seated upon the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. So God feeds the dwellers with what is happening in heaven. Right. So does it show us that when he says the new moon and the new and the Sabbath are going to be kept, does it show us how important his cal calendar is? Oh yes. So the yes. job of Elijah is to <laughs> feed the dwellers of the new heaven and new earth <laughs> to keep God's times because they will continue in the kingdom and the new heaven and new earth. Amen. These Amen. are this is the job of Elijah right now. If Amen. we believe, Sister White saw another messenger coming with this new light. It's not new light, it's something that we had already forgotten. Because oh, yes. that's why it, it's, it's called the reformation. You reform from what was there at first. I mean, yes. from what is there to what was there. Right. Do you understand? So if um, it is a reformation, it's something which we had or, already overlooked. Yes. Which God because says, how can you enter the pearly gates without, without this? Mm -hmm. It will be discord. Amen. That's why there is a cry. In the last days, yes, because in now, now, chapter one, verse fifteen, there's a cry of keeping these feasts. What does Naomi chapter one, verse fifteen say? Chapter one, mm. verse fifteen, it says, "Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, O Judah, keep thy solemn feast, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee." Is utterly cut off. The wicked will never keep the festival. No. Only the saints will follow the lamp whithersoever he goes. They yes. will, they will, the moment the feasts are being kept, mm -hmm. know for sure the wicked is being cut off. Yes. Yeah. It's surely going to be cut off. Mm -hmm. Why? The wicked will receive 666. While yes. people receive the mark, the, the seal of God by keeping this a solemn feast. That's why Naomi says, O oh, Judah, keep thy solemn yeah. feast. Perform thy vows. For the wicked is surely cut off. This is what happens when we are all holy. No mm -hmm. one is found keeping something else which is not in the Bible. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now it, it goes back to the question that we started with. We say, is January the first month? I think you would that is so perfectly is no way to be found no way if i read if i'm surely a bible reader yes. i've never seen it as a first month no the no. months which are there in the bible yes. are clear right they are not hidden they are no. clear we have been reading them it's, these are just a verses verses that i picked a few verses but if we are to go through the whole bible you find the months are there? Are they, they are not here? hidden or obscure. They are there. <laughs> what yeah. what what do people think when they meet those uh, verses which say the ninth month, this eighth month called so and so, without knowing what we already know that this is September is ninth month, and then we are told this something different by the Bible. Don't you see? You are just worshiping two different gods. Yeah. Yeah, it's two is... different gods. Yeah. We need to reform. Yes. Otherwise, God, God will cut us off mm -hmm. if we don't perform the vows and Elijah. keep the solemn feast. This is the job of Elijah. And mm -hmm. this is only for those who worship God yes. under Elijah. Right. Because the 144,000 will be completely sealed with the whole calendar. Amen. 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 I think we have come to the end of, the, of this discussion, Elder. Uh, it has been such a, a blessing uh, to have uh, these verses explained in a, not in a fanciful way, but in a no. way that is so clear that for everyone who wants to know which one is the first month of God, there's no way you can evade uh, the answers that have been given here. So I'd like to thank you, Elder, for this. I don't know if you have last words before we can close. Let's keep up with God's calendar mm -hmm. so that God produces a people who are 
fair as a moon, clear as the sun, right. terrible as an army with banners. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I learned that you, if you want to learn these things and, and practice them, you, you have to come out of the cage. Yeah, they are that captivity of people who are uh, literally, you know, when you are in the cage, you are in the cage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are not free. You are not free. It's like chickens. Yes. When they are in the cage, they are different from those which are out. Yes. In the cage, you'll be, when God says you become a vegetarian, in the cage, you eat meat. You eat. Keep but the festivals. Keep the cage will make you not keep the festivals. Yes. yes. Keep the Sabbath holy. The cage will finish Sabbath at 12. In the afternoon, not more people come back. They've already finished. Go follow them in their homes. They're already doing something else, which is not keeping the Sabbath. In the cage, there's all sorts of errors. Error. Mm -hmm. Come out of here, my people. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Because the cage, <laughs> the design on itself is, is not for someone to be free and worship God freely. So like From 1991, Pastor. Yes. I wasn't in the cage. No. 1991, how many years is that? Oof, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. And when they disfellowshipped me, I was enjoying myself out there. That's why I found that now I am enjoying. Yes. Reading is, the, you know, when the chicken is outside, yes. you can't tell the chicken what to eat and not to, what, no, and, no. And what not to eat. You eat everything. everything. Anything. Everything. Yes. Anything. In the cage, you are told, no, 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 no. This one, no, no, this one, don't allow to pre preach. This one, allow. Even if you have knowledge, they don't use it. They first try to see, are you going to put people in the truth? No, this one, don't, don't. You see, I, I, is it, as I will tell you that, they will say to the seer, see you not. Know, yes, it's Isaiah. And those who are prophesying, they say to them, prophesy deceit. Smooth prophesy deal. smooth thing. That's what happens in the cage. Yes. But when you are free as a bird, All right. you enjoy the message and God continues to pour them. Amen. Amen. Is it not fair to go by the, the, the Bible that God has given us, the verses, the, 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 the names of the, of the months that God has given us freely? Is it not, <laughs> is, is it not a, a, you know, bringing peace? And that's said the Lord. The truth yes. shall set us free. Yes. But continue with the cage. You see, <laughs> you won't find these truths at all. No, no. Continue, you continue. You are waiting for the whole church to be converted. Then you can, you will never, that time will not come. No. It will not no. come. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Yoga. And we'd like to thank also our viewers to tune in up and, and listen to this discussion. We've got more discussions that will highlight the errors that have been practiced as truth, but they are not having a biblical sound background. So thank you. Tune us. Tune also tomorrow, 10 o'clock, as we continue with the present truth. May God bless you all and have a blessed Sabbath. Blessed Sabbath, Pastor.